Uh, this September marks three years since you were terrible hand incident. Yeah. Gosh. How is the hand doing? Has it healed up to 100%? I'd say you got about 95%. Okay. Um, I'm probably not gonna ever be a hand model. I, I yeah, can't least... move this finger 100% over, uh -huh. but I gotta get one more surgery so that I can get that finger over. See how it's like, yeah, you know, as I spread right it. Here. Maybe we'll put some filler in here to, you know. Maybe we'll put a little filler. <laughs> I'll put some face filler in there. But, yeah, you know, they do that. <laughs> do they really? Who yeah. knows anymore, mm -hmm. you know? But, but you know what? I mean... Um, You're still able to do what you do. Yeah. For what happened to me, mm -hmm. I mean, I am yeah. truly blessed. The fact that if you... I had a metal spike that was through my hand that was probably sticking out this mm -hmm. far. To look like this after that... When do you think you'll have the last surgery? You know what? I, I we was, need time. Yeah. <laughs> we have... 13 bakeries, six restaurant concepts, a full-fledged Italian restaurant in a Venetian, yep. 75 vending machines, two bakeries in Canada, eight in Brazil. All good things. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh -huh. nothing, buddy. <laughs> you slack it. Yeah. Well, add two new shows to the mix. We'll be seeing more of the real cake boss, his wife, Lisa. The couple of 22 years is whipping up Legends of the Fork and Buddy Velastro's Cake Dynasty, premiering back-to-back -back on A&E tomorrow. My sisters tend to bring a little chaos. Ah, they dropped the cake! You're in my world now, Junior. We've no. seen the business happen on, on Cake Boss and everything, but we get even more insight into the personal aspects. Yeah. To be able to build this dynasty with my wife and kids mm -hmm. is now, that's my dream. What do they make of the cameras being around? Well, they, you know, they've been around cameras their mm -hmm. whole life. But so not, not to this extent. But not to this extent. You know, I think that they're having a lot of fun doing it. I think that there really is a dream that I had with my dad yeah. about making the bakery household name. I got an exclusive tour inside of Buddy's factory. They pump out 10,000 cakes a day. It's all part of his estimated $10 million empire. Do you smell it already? Honey, I can, it smells like heaven up in here. <laughs> all right. Take me there. Okay. Oh my gosh, you got a little red velvet on you. I got everything on me. <laughs> So this is about 700 pounds of carrot cake. Yeah. Yep. So we'll make about 35,000 pounds of batter in a day. Here's the form. This automatically greases it. What? Okay. This is what I need at home. Uh -huh. So these are like big straws that carry the batter inside. Really then it goes strong. and automatically sees it, stops it, deposits it. Wow. Okay, then it goes onto a rack and then it goes into the oven. No, I wish this was television because it's so good. This is like a saw that goes through it, trims the top, and cuts it in half. Then yeah. it goes through a nitrogen tunnel to freeze it. Why do you so do that? Because we got to cut it. Oh. Wait till you see the end of the process. They come out. They're frozen now, right? No way. Yep. That is mind blowing. Each layer is built, stacked. Oh, this is 800 the pounds icing. of cream cheese. Cream cheese frosting. All right, That's here. Cold. But what is the wildest cake request you have ever received? But well, this year, I would say probably I like the Wicked cake that we did for Wicked, or the um, I, I say the the uh, the, 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 the State Fair. Fair. Yeah. But it was funny because uh, the the carousel actually, when I tell you, did not fit in the truck, so I had to get a flatbed. <laughs> so, so you can imagine how big this cake was. Mind you, it was like 100 degrees outside. It was no. the most humid day probably of the summer. So I had, to build, I had to build a crate. Of mud by the time you get there. Yeah, we had to yeah. build a crate, and then I threw dry, dry ice. ice on the bottom to <laughs> no. keep it cold. Whatever it takes, what's the most expensive cake that you've ever made, buddy? Oh, wow. You know, like $100,000? I mean, depending. I mean, listen, again, some With of those cakes. Yeah, in gold? Yeah, but, but yeah. Basically. Yeah, basically. <laughs>